Hello to all of my favorite people, and if you're new around here, I'm Lucy, and you're watching the Edit With Me Monday show, the show where we make editing in Lightroom super, super simple. And today, I'm talking about how to make your photos look super sharp and clear using the detail panel in Lightroom. And if you stick around to the end, I'm actually gonna share a couple of my other favorite tips and tricks and tools that are all really easy, but are gonna make your photos pop and look even sharper than they actually are. All right. Let's jump in. All right, so I'm gonna be working with a photo taken at sunset in sort of low light conditions. So in the edit, I'm gonna to have to bring up a lot of the shadows and the exposure a bit. And those are all things that can affect how much sharpening you actually need to do to have a really, really polished photo. So that's why I think that this is a great one to use to show you how to do sharpening. So this is the completely raw photo, just straight out of the camera. And then I went ahead and before I do sharpening, I do all the basic edits. So anything in the basic panel, tone curve, HSL, and split toning. You're gonna wanna do that first before you jump into sharpening because it's gonna affect the amount of sharpening that you need to do and you're gonna see what you're actually working with. So these are the basic edits that I did. If you're unsure about any of those panels that I just mentioned, go over here somewhere and uh, I'll link to a playlist where I've actually talked about all of them so you'll be good to go. So do those basic changes and now we can go into the detail panel and make this baby look super, super sharp. So you can find the detail panel on this right hand side and just make sure it is expanded there so you can see. Lightroom's gonna pick a section of your photo to kind of just show you how everything you do is affecting your photo there. You can move this around if you want to, but you definitely don't need to do that. Now usually Lightroom will apply default sharpening and noise reduction on your photo. So you kind of have something to start working with. I'm also gonna zoom in here just so that I can see a little bit more about what's happening on my image, all right? So you can see with the sharpening, if I bring this way, way up, that looks so bad. Um, it really has made everything super, super grainy. And while things are technically sharper, um, it comes at the cost of that grain. And that is what happens with sharpening. So you need to use it sparingly and just where it actually needs to be to outline things and, and make your photo look sharp. So you don't need that much, but I'm gonna leave it on that just for now to show you how this one tool works and that is the masking tool. Right now the sharpening is being applied to my entire photo. Everything in the photo is being equally sharpened, which I really don't need to have happen. All I really want is the swan to be super sharp. All of this, it's already out of focus, right? And I just want it to be soft and smooth and I don't need that to be sharpened. So how we can deal with that is with masking. So if you hold Alt or Option, click this. Now my whole thing is white. So everything that is white is what is being sharpened. So as we move this along, we see some black elements introduced into the photo. Now anything that is black will not be sharpened. And this is really, really good news because things like the water, things like the sky, we don't need to be sharpened. So why don't I just zoom out a little bit see my full image, go back to masking, hit Alt or Option to bring up that kind of cool black and white view, and keep going. I really, really want just the swan and some of the edges to be sharpened, so I'm pulling this masking up really, really high. Again, everything that is black is not going to be sharpened, everything that is white will be sharpened, so I'm happy with that. Now the next thing to look at is the radius and the detail. Radius is how thick those lines are gonna be that we're sharpening. Again, Alter Option is gonna give you a better view for this. We can see it. And I don't need it to be that intense. I'm gonna go somewhere around the middle there. I think that looks good. And detail is just the amount of details that we're gonna be sharpening. Do we just want those bold edges? Do we want every little thing? So if I bring this to the end, you can see that we're even sharpening all the little like feathers and fur on the swan. I actually don't want that to happen. I want that part to look a lot smoother. So I'm gonna bring that down and that looks good. Now again, this is still way higher than we need it. So we're gonna bring that down more so around here and that looks good. So if I turn that off, 
see how everything just looks just a little bit blurry, a little bit out of focus. Now when I turn that back on, and it just looks really crisp and nice. It's like looking really, really sharp. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now we're gonna go into noise reduction. Now there's two types of noise in your photos, luminance and color. Luminance noise will go into the highlights or the shadows of your image, and color noise actually starts to put those weird little colors into your photo in places it's not supposed to be. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. If we zoom in on this fur here, and I bring down the color. Look at that, that looks so bad. That is like, it's just those weird pixelated colors that happen, which is partially why Lightroom defaults to add some color noise reduction. So usually it's gonna be at around 25, just on its own. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit because I really want that to not be there at all. And then in terms of detail and smoothness, you can play around with it, but usually I find at 50 in the middle, it looks great. So let's again go and turn that off. Ugh, that looks so bad. And turn it back on. We got rid of that, great. That's awesome. All right, so that's the basics of using the detail panel to make your photos look really, really sharp. As you can see, you don't need to do a ton with it, but a little bit goes a long way to making your photos look more professional. Now, three other tips that I have for you to make your photos look more sharp, even sharper than they actually are. First tip is go ahead, grab this radial filter, and what we're gonna do with this filter is it's actually gonna be a clarity filter and we're gonna bring down the clarity and we're gonna cover the swan and this time we're not gonna invert it because we want the changes to affect everything but the swan because what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna bring down the clarity, we're gonna bring down the sharpness so that the background gets even softer. I'm actually gonna bring up the shadows and the highlights a little bit just in the background because it feels a little dark. All right, looks great. My second tip is to make sure that all the elements around your subject strongly contrast against it. Again, this is gonna make that subject pop out even more. So I'm gonna grab this adjustment brush. This is gonna be a saturation. We're gonna bring up the saturation. We're gonna bring up the whites and the shadows and the highlights. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the water right surrounding the swan underneath it. Gonna make it a bit more blue, and actually we're gonna bring the blacks down. What that does is that makes the mirror image of the swan really contrasted, and then this other color is working really nicely with the sky, and the colors contrast with the white of the swan. So just by making that little pool around the swan a bit more saturated and bringing down the blacks and bringing up the highlights, we're actually accentuating the swan even more. And my last quick tip is to get rid of anything that is distracting in the photo. So here in the water, I find all these little bits really, really distracting because they are actually very clear and they stand out a lot. And then here in this shadow, it's breaking it up and this isn't like a perfect just black shadow. So what I would suggest is that you go in and retouch all of those elements out of the photo so that you don't even see them. Just when you look at it, you immediately just look at that swan. And then when you do that, you're gonna get something that looks like this. So I went in, I took out all of those little distracting bits and now this is just looks like nice smooth water that leads directly there into the focal point, which is the swan. And then the background here, this is nice and dark. It doesn't compete with your eye. And then we have those colors that it's in the water repeated up there in the sky. So that looks great. And the swan is definitely the focal point and looks super, super sharp. There you go. That's how you make your photos look super sharp in Lightroom. Now, if you wanna get even better at editing in Lightroom, I post these videos every Monday and my whole goal with them is just to make editing in Lightroom super, super simple. A lot of the time we think it's way more complicated than it is. So I just wanna keep things easy around here. So if you wanna see those, subscribe, comment, like, all that jazz, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.